Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. And yes, this is news. It's albeit maybe three weeks late, but I guess nobody's really been paying attention. Nobody realized. So this was brought to my attention earlier today. 723 William Street in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. It's been on sale for a while now, but it's now at a reduced price. Before we get to that reduced price, I just want to tell you there's a link in the bottom of the screen, tankcards-tavern.games slash maps. This will take you to a humble bundle. It is their maps extravaganza. Essentially, it's car paint, car, bleh, campaign cartographer. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, I believe uh, campaign cartographer three plus. Yes. Lifetime. Oh, oh sorry. One year license. Ah, not a lifetime. Ah, I guess you'll have to get this batch every year. But a lot of bundles in it. Oh, actually, no, it does say lifetime license. Ah, look at that. Look at that. I'm looking at the actual site right now. All right. Lifetime license. You get everything, 12 different packs, plus the lifetime license for 30 bucks. I mean, that is a pretty darn good deal. You could spend less. You get less. I think spending uh, 30 Get the full pack. It's a great mapping tool. It is Windows only. Yes, you can probably use some other software to run it on Windows or Linux. But it, it makes those iconic maps that everybody knows and loves. So what do we have out, up on the screen? Well, 723 William Street is otherwise known as the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. Hmm. Now, this was going for about $5 million. Yes, that's kind of like a Dr. Evil number. <laughs> uh, but recently, last couple of weeks, it has been marked down to $2,500,000. A bargain at a tenth the price, uh, but certainly less than the prior asking price. So what do you get for your $2.5 million? If you happen to be a lotto winner and you're looking to spend your lottery earnings on your lottery uh, dream house, um, how are you going to spend that money? What do you get? Well, apparently you get the same that you were going to get for $5 million, So uh, either it was overpriced before and it's more accurately priced now, or it was overpriced before and it's overpriced now. I, I don't know. The ultimate collector's dream of role-playing gaming. This isn't giving you Bill Meinhardt's collection. So I don't think it really is the ultimate collector's dream of role-playing role -play gaming. But it could certainly be a decent collection. Imagine owning the original dungeon hobby shop. And extensive collection of curated artifacts. I hope you're reading along with me. I hope you're catching the capitalization because it's special. Now, a museum purchased by Gary Gygax and Brian Bloom, December 1975 of Dungeons and Dragons. As painful as this is, for you to listen to this, it is at least as painful for me to read this butchering of the English language. But I will continue. Still the same sentence. Original home of Tactical Study Rules, TSR Hobbies, founded to publish Dungeons and Dragons during a significant period in the history of the game. You know, this is one of those instances where I think AI writing should be brought into the equation. It may certainly help. The second floor art depth. 
think they spelled it out, abbreviated it for department, comma, was the center of created energy with some of the most notable illustrators of its era, comma, whose artwork graced many of the earliest editions. 723 William Street became a hub to early D&D enthusiasts and gamers. It was a place where ideas and creativity flowed, adventures conceived, and friendships formed. Well, that's actually a nice sentence. Which the whole thing sounded like that. Imagine if these walls could talk. Partial financing of... There is no point. Partial financing avail to qualified buyer. You know, there's no point to abbreviating that. It should have just... Sorry, sorry. I was a history major. I was red penned or red penciled for years during my major. Um, had minors in sociology and uh, creative writing. So yes, the red pen slash pencil was uh, part of my scholastic career. And things like this are painful to me because the amount of red ink that would be expended on this single paragraph. That being said, folks, if you've got $2.5 million hanging around, or if you have enough for a down payment and that partial financing avail for you, um, if you're a qualified buyer. Now, it doesn't mention whether or not you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement before actually seeing the contents of this museum. Uh, if I was going to be spending millions of dollars on a location, the selling point of which is the contents of the location, I'd want to know those contents. I'd want somebody like Bill Meinhardt coming with me to grade everything, to get an idea of what the value was. But that's just me. Maybe you see this differently. Maybe you see this as an investment possibility. Come on. I mean, you, you. I believe you have to honor the uh, the memberships to the museum that have already been sold, and uh, you got to make sure that the current owner continues with their membership rights. But other than that, come on, it's half off. This is like the deal of I don't know a deal. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me some feedback. I may have another video coming out later tonight, which is uh, uh, actually something that requires attention. So if it isn't tonight, it will be tomorrow. Other than that, the link on the bottom of the screen, 10 tavern game slash maps Carpine Cartographer over on Humble Bundle. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, now's your chance. Other than that, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Back again tonight, maybe later today with another video. My heart be still. Later, folks.